Hello and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we are fans of board games both new and old. Today we're going to be unboxing Dice Summoners, and this comes from um, Dublin publishers, who are fondly called Decking Awesome Games. Um, and I'm very excited to have been sent a review copy. Um, you know, most of you know by now that I'm Irish and I live in Cork, and it's great to support fellow kind of board game enthusiasts from the same country as myself. It's a rare moment. So I feel quite honored that they decided to send me a copy of their game for a review. So Dice Summoners, from what I know, is a card game. Um, it comes in this nice box. It's quite small, isn't it? And we'll, we'll have a look at the back and we'll jump straight into it. It's a game for two to four players for age 14 plus and it's supposed to take about 30 minutes. There you go, let you guys see the side. So the back of the box. There we go. So it tells you exactly what's in there. The greatest summoner must master their art in all its forms. So it looks very much like a kind of a Magic the Gathering style card game from what I can tell. Um, except you have dice and the ability to defend and whatnot. And 38 interchangeable sets of cards for high replayability all in one box. Okay, this could be interesting, right? Especially if you're into cards. And I do love me a good card game. So, first of all, the box, it's nice and small. It's a, it's a Race for the Galaxy size box. I think the choice of colour is unusual considering how bright the actual art itself is, which is quite nice. So let's see what we get inside. Well, the first thing we are presented with is a rule book. It's usually a positive thing. Now, rule books with card games can often be really tricky because there can be lots of little things to explain, so I'm always super dubious. Let's see what we got. Some more artwork, dice summoners, tell you a little bit about it, the aim, the components you have, how to set the game up. Okay, so just like little tokens. Turn sequence, I like that. Stage two combat, so obviously we're going to be fighting each other. Defend and end turn. That doesn't sound too complicated. There's some special rules between creatures and auras and stuff. Versus then there's deck set variants. So the 16 decks in the deck must have the following format. Okay, so, okay, fair enough. So you can build your own decks with this. It's a deck builder. Um, the end game is when hero's health goes to zero or below. Okay, it's a... It's made on very, very thick paper. It's a good quality rule book. Um, I like the way this is all laid out. They make this sound very, very simple just for me looking through it. So hopefully the game is as simple as this explains. Then there's a little bit of lore here at the end and some credits. There we go. So for everybody and the back page is wasted. Nothing on it. But either way, that looks, it, it makes the game look very simple to play for a start. Okay, now what do we got next? Got card, cardboard. Okay, so we have, obviously there's people's health trackers. Let's see what type of cardboard we have. It's very thick. It's good. It's really good quality stuff. It reminds you of the kind of the old um, board game cardboard you used to get. That's like solid as a rock. Cool. And then obviously these must be your health tokens, I assume. Or just tokens. Let's see how well they want to come out. Oh, they're one on one side three and the other. Yeah. Yeah, they're just as thick as well. Um, so yeah, all good. All right. Next up. Okay, we get bags. I love a game that gives you bags. Classy stuff there when they're thinking of you. Okay, so we put the bags aside. What else down here? Okay, so we got some colored dice. So obviously one of you is gonna be blue and one of you is gonna be red. Um, we'll open up. It looks like there's more blue dice than red dice, or am I imagining it? Three and three, six and two is eight. Three, is it three and three, six, two is eight. Yeah, there's more blue dice than there is red dice. This obviously has some sort of meaning. We won't figure it out until I play it. Yeah, you guys know I know nothing about this game when I unbox them, right? That's, that's the fun of this madness. Oh, they are some really nice dice. They're curved in the corners. Oh, I like them. And the symbols are quite cool too. I'm dying to see what you use these for. They're lovely, lovely dice. Classy stuff. Okay, I assume the red dice are just as classy. We'll figure out what is left of them. Um, we also get two little pieces of wood, I suppose, or two little pieces of plastic to mark our, um, where we are on the health track. Let's see what's in it. Yeah, they're like Terraform Mars cubes, just not fully. Not that they're fully folded in, they're not opaque. That's cool. And then finally we get to the cards, because this is clearly, you know, what this game is all about. And oh my goodness, my favorite thing ever. They've got the little tab. I was wondering when I need a scissors in my bare hands to try and open these. This is how I judge the quality of a game, but if they have these tabs. Good quality game, well done. Now, so the first thing we want to know is what do the cards feel like, right? Because, you know, it's a card game. They're not amazing. They're quite thin. Are they all like this? Yes, they're thin and they're scratchy to the feel. I would definitely be sleeving these. 
Um, so what kind of cards do we have anyway? So this is an armor defend this aura applies to defend all your advanced creatures. Okay, so they have the same pictures on them. Bloodthirsty, so you can steal. Okay, so aura sounds like enchantment. Um, divine a heal of one of your creatures. Attack. So these are all auras. What else have we got down here? They are really quite scratchy. It might, however, make them quite durable. So okay, so the interesting thing to know here is this card has many sides. Um, as you can or cannot see. So there's one, two, three. It looks like you can tap things multiple times. And then X is where it dies. One that got skulls on the back. Actually, I should have checked the backs. What's the backs like? So this one all has skulls. Don't know what that means. And then what do we get after this? After this, we get like ram skulls. Oh, and in red and in green. Okay. I'll need to read the rules to figure this out. They're actually quite hard to shuffle. Um, so this is like, here we go. Ankyosaurus. So you gain a cube, has the ability to block and defend. Okay. And they have the same art in each guy. And there's many um, duplications of each guy. So there we go there. The art's interesting. It's a little bare, but it's, it's interesting. It's definitely really bright compared to the kind of the card as well. So these are duplicates anyway of multiple of these cards and they all have special abilities and stuff. So we'll see how that goes. Zombie, very good. I think a lot of this game is going to come down to the gameplay, um, which I hope is awesome. I love a good card game. Okay, and the second pile of cards, what have we got in this one? Well, we've got a reference card. That's always a good thing. Come on. Yeah, there you go. I like when I don't have to fight with them. Oops. And then I shoo away all the plastic. So we've got a Seraph Angel. Okay. Actually, I'm going to look at the back first because it seems to tell us something. So we get two reference cards to tell us what all these little symbols mean. So that skull I was looking at is an advanced creature in red and green. It's basic. There are mythic creatures. Okay. There are spells, combat spells, mythic rituals. Heal, steal, auras, rotate cards. Okay, so it's good that we have these. And then it's got the turn sequence on the other side. That's good. So you're going to gain the stuff from the top of your cards and then there'll be combat. Fair enough. Okay, good. I like that. So now these are spells, obviously, from what I just read. Spells and then connected spells. And then mythic creatures. Um, not special creatures. And then well, a lot of special creatures. Okay, so it seems like there's going to be a lot of special things. So let's see what these spells look like. So we'll go with a purple one first. So gain cast a special to summon Galva. Ooh, so we get to summon something. There's the cost. So the cost seems to be off the dice. Then here you can make sets of things with the yellow and red ones. All right. I'm with you. Let's see a mythic creature. A velociraptor. That's a mythic creature here, people. It's got ability to defend and it gives you things. So you get the idea anyway um, that, you know, with, with card games, I can't show you every single card. Um, but a lot of it is to do with the, the card play. Um, the card play seems interesting. I'm curious to see how it will work. Um, but otherwise, at least the quality of the most of the stuff is pretty interesting. Shame about the cards, though. They're not the most amazing cards I've ever seen. But, you know, let's not judge anything just yet. It is early days. Because there are lots of games with dodgy components that we all love. <laughs> so yeah, so that has been Dice Summoners. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. Um, if you did, why not do something nice and think about subscribing or liking this video. Um, or just even tell a friend, because that would be amazing. The more people I can get board games to, the better. So, and until next time, um, I'll be here playing games, um, bruising my collection and possibly doing some more unboxings. And hopefully you'll join me for future ones. Until then, everybody, take care. Bye-bye.